I think it's the worst smell I've ever smelled. The most disgusting smell I've ever smelled. An algae crisis threatening our treasure coast. A cycle of despair and disgust amidst promises made and broken. Billions of gallons of water are rushing from Lake Okeechobee to our coastline. How much pollution is too much? How much danger is too much? How much before this will stop? What I remember about 2018 and that lost summer, state of emergency, businesses being affected, people not wanting to be on the water, and all because of what was happening to the state of our local water. None of us knew the health impacts. We knew that it was offensive. We knew that it smelled bad. We knew it made us feel bad. The economic impact. You have all these water. There's a tourism-based economy. Um, you have uh, restaurants on the water. Um, you have a lot of businesses that are on the water. All businesses were basically shut down. The state of our water was Lake Okeechobee, fresh water, was kept artificially high. The Corps of Engineers decided to dump billions of gallons of that fresh algae-filled water into our saltwater coastal estuary, destroying our summer of 2018. I worked uh, at Central Marine, St. Lucie Marine, for 16 years. I now work at Apex Marine on the water. So in a total of 18 years, I've been employed working on the water. As a person who depends on fishing to pay my bills, I have to go. When I do get those people that want to come and fish, I have to go. So I go out on the water, I catch my bait, I throw my net, I put the net in my mouth, I throw my net, catch my bait. I'm throwing on the toxin, the bait's underneath it. It's slowed quite a bit. Um, the algae damages the boats. And Why would people do business there? You wouldn't. You would pull your boat out as fast as possible and take it somewhere else. It's slimy, it's nasty. People don't want to be around it, and they know it's toxic. My worry was that this would never go away. That year's Water Resources Development Act, the number one thing that I got through was a demand that the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers rewrite their entire manual about how they decide when and where and why and how they're going to discharge water out of Lake Okeechobee so that hopefully we could correct the mismanagement of Lake Okeechobee and put policies in place that actually protect us on the coast from receiving toxic poisonous water out of that lake. That is our bread and butter. Acts. If we don't have someone in Washington helping us with water bills, we are failing. We are going backwards. Our sandbar area has been huge. It has had the crystal clear waters. It has, the habitats are coming back. Really, it's all about a, a, a way of life for us. You know, we love being on the water and seeing these, these beautiful things that a lot of people never get to see in their lifetime. I'm very hopeful. I'm, you can see it now. It, it's, we have reason for hope.